dribbles to the top of the key. Melissa Dixon's check back in. Long three by Jocelyn Jones, no good. Do a little quick outlet. Logic, cross-court pass. Dixon spots up for three. Halfway down, it almost popped out, and now it's in. She is one point away from joining the 1,000-point mark in her career. They lob it out up top to Jennings. Pesha will set a screen for her. They switch. Witt has, oh, she had a mismatch with a post there, but she didn't take her. Give and go, down low. Peschel goes up strong. Count it, and one coming. Great what a play. great slide to the basket by Callie Peschel. Logic at the top of the key. Flashing high blocks. Peschel All leans right. in. Have yourself a game. Callie Peschel has just tied her career high. Colonials can pull to within one or tie it with a three. As Ravelli down the middle of the paint. Rejected by Doolittle. Loose ball picked up by Logic. It's one on four as they're getting back. A trailing Dixon for three left wing. Yes. Welcome to the club! There it is. Melissa Dixon with 1,000 points plus now for her career. Yeah, it means a lot, but it all goes back to my teammates and just this program in general. Everyone that we play with is just so unselfish, and it's just all about the team, and that's what Iowa basketball prides itself on, and I've been able to benefit from that, so it really goes all back to them. Now Pesh will be on the arc, right wing with 15 to shoot. Lob pass into the paint. Dixon, skip pass near side. Dixon for three. Nice. Book it! Melissa Dixon with her fifth three-pointer of the ball game. Doolittle's out at the top of the key. They run Disher, hop through as a cutter, and Bethany just didn't see her. Dixon, top of the key, stops and pops from 15. It's short. Nice Doolittle with a strong board, and the putback is good. Hawks back offensively. Dister hop. Doolittle inside the arc. Pump fake, puts it on the floor, all the way to the iron, oh. and gets the finger roll. That was nice. She sets a screen on Olegende for Bethany Doolittle. Olegende cuts through it. Dixon drives in, spins. Bounce pass to Disterhoff. Hard to the iron All and right. lays it up and in. It was a semi-tight ball game through about three quarters of it. Maybe a little bit longer, probably 80-85%. But Iowa, too much firepower. Final score, Hawks 85. Colonials 67. I thought this was a really good preseason game for us. I thought Robert Morris was good defensively. They were scrappy. They got up in us, and it was good for us to have that type of pressure early in the year. I thought we responded pretty well uh, with that type of pressure, having only 15 turnovers. Um, I want to congratulate Melissa, went over the 1,000 points, uh, became our 32nd woman in the 1,000-point club here at Iowa. She did that in the first half. Uh, she shot the ball extremely well from three-point range again today. Uh, Callie Peschel, uh, career high today. I, I, I'm so happy for Callie because she's worked extremely hard for this. She has really put her heart and soul into this team over the summer, and it paid off for her today. Uh, not only did she shoot the ball extremely well, seven for nine, she has a career high, 19 points, and she leads us in four offensive rebounds. Um, so I'm really happy for, for Callie. And then Sam has a double-double today. First of the year, second game, and already has a double-double. When you look at a point guard having a double-double, you don't usually think rebounds and assists. Well, that's what you know, Sam does for us today. But I thought this was a good win against a, a very good opponent today. Yeah, I think we're definitely coming out a lot more intense than we have in the past year. And I think the team's focused, and we know what our goals are. And we're going to work each practice and each game to reach those goals and continue to get to the next level. He's doing a good job. This team was in the NCAA tournament last year. So this wasn't, you know, one of those early season pushover games. This was a good team. Uh, next week is no exception. We'll be hosting three very good teams. Pepperdine, who we'll be pay facing in the first round. University of Tennessee Martin, who's been in numerous NCAA tournaments. And then Dayton, who is a top 25 team. Could end up being a matchup on Saturday night with Dayton, a rematch of last year's overtime win. And that was really one of those absolutely down-to-the-wire wins. We both returned four starters from that team last year, so it, uh, that could be quite a battle. Both of our, we'll be playing 7.30 Friday and 7.30 Saturday.